Hello everyone, my name is Rani and I'm sharing to you one verse from the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23. It says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, thank you so much Lord for your goodness, your love and mercy to us. And thank you for the grace of your Son who died on the cross. We hope and pray, O oh God, that you will help us and teach us, O oh God, by the work of your Holy Spirit, that would convict us, O oh God, and will see the truth that they would, through your message, would lead them, Lord, to the faith of salvation that every human needed. So we trust you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. I like this verse, it's because it's too short, simple, and it's so clear, and everything is in there. So there is the problem, and there is also the cure, the solution. So it says here, for the wages of sin is death. So it's direct to the point. Because of sin, because of the disobedience of Adam and Eve that separates us from the love of God so that causes us death it means spiritually dead that we could not we, we couldn't worship God we could not come to Him it's because we are totally separated we are totally depraved because of our translation because of sin because in the beginning as I already shared that in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and 27 God made a human in his likeness and his like, like his image so that he will reveal who is God so that he will reveal his reflection of God and to express God's character to human and to put his glory on display to every individual but because of the pride of life that causes us death so I said the wages of sin is death for that reason we could now we could not call our God father because we are separated from him we could not call him and the response of human is totally depraved and we are children of the wrath so we are sentenced to death because of sin we are miserable condition and we are empowered by sin under condemnation it means we are sentenced we are subject to punish and we come short of glory of God we are all coarse we are dominated overpowered by sin and sin is defiling disease that cripples the soul of every human being the grids of every person and disquiets every person it means it is it is a shame produced human itself and it steals peace and joy of every individual and replacing it with trouble pain and fear that's why there's still a lot of people who are looking for something they're look digging for something finding for something looking for a solution and every individual doesn't have a contentment because they don't know what they're looking for because we fall short of the glory of God because apart from the Lord it is really miserable there is no joy that's why King David he always prayed in, in the book of Psalms chapter 51 do not oh Lord do not depart your 
Holy Spirit upon me because apart from the Lord's presence it's totally miserable but yeah praise God because his because of his sovereign grace his love and mercy to us he gave his one and only son and he gave us said but the gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord because he is only the cure only the blood of Jesus Christ only the power of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ can save us there's there's nothing more but we praise God because of his great love of the Father the grace of the Son who he sacrificed himself and then the work of the Holy Spirit to convict us to accept our Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and to see that we are we have nothing there's nothing that we can do because you are controlled by Satan who is the angel of wilderness who is the devil of himself and we are members of his kingdom we are part of his family and we can see that in John 8:44. you can search it if, if you want to try to look at this verse but praise God because our Father who loves us, for God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that those who ever believe in Him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. Only the blood of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, can save us. And He will give us a new life because that is His promise. He said in John 3, uh, 3 when Nicodemus asked how can a man can see the kingdom of god jesus christ said unless you will be born again unless you will regenerate again because from adam you were spiritually dead because death to us because of sin but through our lord jesus christ he gave us new life and the holy spirit will come to us and the holy spirit will will give us a new life when we accept him as our lord and personal savior and that's the only way he said in john 46 i am the way the truth and the life and no one can come to the father except but by through me so my fellow friends relatives and whoever watching this video if you are touched by the holy spirit right now if you want to receive jesus christ as your personal savior I would like to invite you to pray this simple prayer and make this prayer as your personal prayer prayer to our God to our Jesus I invite you so I will lead you in this prayer and you can follow me dear Lord Jesus Christ I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead thank you for your blood on the cross I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life I want to surrender and trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior you may glorify my life to the work of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are living in Austria, Vienna, there are many um, Christian churches here where you can look and you can go and have fellowship with our fellow brethren, our brothers and sisters. And we also have our fellowship in Kopreiter Gasse. 22 in the 12th district and we have our fellowship every 3 p.m. in the afternoon every Sunday so if you're looking for um, people uh, that we can fellowship one another so we're inviting you but there's a lot of church here in in Vienna especially in, in Vienna so have a nice day and God bless